Thanks again for watching Fadeaway Golf. We're at Cocoa Beach where the Puerto Rico Open just took place. We're going to play the back nine first and then we'll play the uh, the front nine second. It's early, so we're trying to get it on. Let's go. Hole number 10. All right, this is uh, hole 10, 430 yards. Got wind from the left. We're going to go driver. Once again, didn't warm up. First tee shot of the day. Super tired. No warm up because they're packed today. My flight leaves a little bit earlier. And the only tee time they had was 11.30, so I was able to talk them into letting me get the back nine and then the front nine. We'll go from there. Ugh. This is where they hold the uh, Puerto Rico Open. But here was a little different. Shot 73, one over. We're gonna try to break 80 again. Check out that backdrop. Once again, we've got the large mountain in our backdrop. So hole number 10, let's get it on. Second shot, hole 10. I got 173 to the pin. Downwind off to the left just a little bit. I got a seven iron since I'm not really that loose yet. We can look to put it right there in the middle of the green. It's nice and easy. work out nicely. I pulled it just a little bit, but it caught that edge. Looks like it funneled down to the green, but we'll have to check it out. Yeah, just on the back fringe area. Ooh, they're quick. Damn. for the first hole. Let's keep it going. Hole number 11, we got 177 to the flag. It's in the front. The middle is like 190, 192. We got a crosswind now since we're going the opposite of hole number 10. But I got seven iron again. 177, hurting wind off the right. Oh, baby, let's go. Yeah, that was a good one. Perfect little baby draw, let the wind take it. 12 feet past the hole, perfect. A hole 11, hole number two for me today. 12 feet past the hole, par three, 177 to the flag, 192 to the middle, and I put it right at the middle, so it's probably like 180, 185. Here we go, try to get a birdie. Make sure we ended up right there. So it's right to left, straight downhill. It's like a, a one foot break. Barely tap this one. Hold your head. Yeah, baby. Ooh. Let's go. Hold your head, baby. Yeah. Go. One under to two. <laughs> Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. One under. Let's go, baby. Woo. Hole number 12. I'm caught in between uh, clubs here, but it's par four, 422, but it looks tight as hell down there. Water right, so no four iron or driver. This I kind of have to go driver, 422. Catch that bunker. Awful swing. I wanted to avoid that water at all costs, but you have red stakes down the left and the jungle to the left, but I just wanted to avoid that water, man. I see my ball. I got so lucky. I am so close to the hazard. <laughs> Look at that. Well, here we go. I mean, how cool is that right there? Jeez. Gorgeous. All right, so I got 205 for my second shot. The uh, flag's right there in the front. I got hurting wind from the right-hand side. I'm gonna pull five iron. I wanna keep it short of the green area and let it just run up just a little bit. Yeah, I never saw it land. It's on the right-hand side, on the other side of the damn bunkers. 
I thought I was gonna draw just a little bit more. Cause you have that crosswind and it's hurting as well, but it didn't help at all. Could have been a little flyer lie. Just stayed straight, no spin at all, but we'll check it out. So I'm short-sided. Let's go over the bunker, try to keep it short. I could probably flop it, but we'll see. So I'm completely short-sided. Basically gotta flop this up, let it hang right there on the fringe and let it roll out just a little bit. Yeah, I'm in no man's land. If I got 15 feet left, I'd be happy. Yeah, baby. Damn. It's so quick. Yeah, that's tough, man. I landed it too far and it just ran out. Probably got like 20 feet to save this par. God, look at that view, though. I mean, can you get much better than that? We'll do 360. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. I don't see much in this. I think it's just four inches, maybe two balls. Yeah, it's all about speed. hole 13 it's a 410 par 4 into the wind so i'm gonna go four iron because it looks tight once again but yeah 410 par 4 number 13. down the right side should be pretty good i think the hole actually goes to the left so i'm probably gonna be further on my second shot but that's okay I think I found the fairway just short of the bunker up there on the right hand side. If you haven't seen any of my previous videos, check them out. Once again, this is Fade Away Golf. Second shot, hole 13. I got 191. 191 to the pin, straight into the wind. I'm gonna pull five iron. Looks like it's in the back area, so I just wanna go straight to the middle portion of the green. Oh, it's right at it. Oh, it's left. Oh, it's like a hard bounce left. You guys didn't see that, but it was on the left portion of the green, left side of the flag. It looks like it hit the hill and just bounced directly left. I know there's water over there. Hopefully it didn't go in the water. You're not going to believe this. Look where this ball ended up. In the hazard. So close to the water. Let's try to get this up and down. I can't have two bogeys in a row. Come on, baby. Perfect, to be honest. Thought the wind was gonna help, but that's what happens when you get short sighted. Short sighted, two holes in a row, two bogeys. I'm trying to go for the pin once again, just go for the green. Just go for the middle of the green. But man, this is awesome out here. I gotta give me some beers. All right, hole number 14. It's got the grandstands behind me over here. Don't know which hole that is, but you got the clubhouse, you got the mountain, you got some little villas right here as well. But we're on hole 14, it's a par four, 477 yards directly into the wind. I'm going to play this one as a, as a part five, directly into the wind. Dang. All right, let's get it. Perfect. Kept it low. That's going to work out nicely there, Bob. Let's go, baby. Perfect position. Middle of the fairway. 209 to the flag. I just want to land it 200-ish to the front. I got a five iron and it's directly into the wind once again, just like the tee shot was. So front of the green, that's all I'm aiming for. I don't know about that one. All right, that thing just took off, hit the front of the green and ran all the way out. 40 feet for birdie. Yeah, it looks like it's right on a tier right here. Left to right and then right to left towards the end. Just gotta get the speed right. Come on, we need one of these to fall. Man, it was tracking though. Far. To 
It's absolutely gorgeous out here though. I mean, look at that view. So we are currently one over, two bogeys, and uh, one birdie. The rest pars. That was a good little par, that was a hard hole. I said uh, I want to get five on that hole, but four is a bonus, man. Four is definitely a bonus. You know what, forget that 80. I want to see if I can make the cut at the Puerto, Re Puerto Rican Open. So let's go for that as a goal. I don't know what the cut is. I'm gonna have to look it up right now. Let's try to make that cut. All right, we're on hole 15, par five, 600 yards. Yeah, it's gonna be a long one. Straight into the wind. Man, it's gonna be a hot one today, boy. That was the most terrible hit of all time. I think it must have hit the hill. Check that out. Here we go, baby. So it looks like the flag is behind those trees way over there. Second shot. Hole 15, the par 5, 600 yards. It's into the wind for the second shot. I got 294. No trouble on the right, no trouble on the left. I can just go for it. Give it all I got, see what happens. Oh, didn't even carry the, the waist area. Jeez, that wind must be cranking. I got 77 yards out of this waste area. So I think we're just gonna play this as a big bunker shot with a gap wedge. Try to catch sand first. It's on the green. That's all that matters. All I was trying to do is get over that bunker, get on the green. If I can get a uh, birdie putt out of it, great. Two putt, get your par and get out of there. 600 yard par five, you know? But I can see why they have low scores out here. I mean, it's not that bad, it's not that hard. It landed right there on the front of the green. Got this for birdie. Once again, we need one of these bad boys to fall. Let's go. Come on. Six hundred yard par five, directly into the wind. Got a par out of it. Can't beat that. Come on now. All right, still one over. The goal is still to make the cut. So whatever the score was to make the cut, let's just call it one day since I'm only playing one day out here. I'll just divide that by two, and that'll be the cut. All right, we're on hole sixteen to par three. It's playing one ninety seven, but it's directly downwind. So I'm pulling eight iron. I just don't want seven to go long. So I'm fine with short or in the bunker on the uh, the front side of the green. Let's see what we got. One ninety seven. Such a good call with an eight iron. Such a good call. Yes. God, that's such a good call. I was so close to be pulling seven. Cause 197, there's no way you should be hitting an eight iron 197. Not unless you're Bryson. Could be like 15 feet. Maybe I can get this birdie and get back to even. Yep, 15 feet short. Hen was in the back actually, so it's perfect. Perfect. How amazing is that? Nice little baby draw with the eight iron. About 20 feet short. Perfect. So a damn Godzilla over here. funky putt it had like a double breaker and i had a feeling it was gonna go the other way but should just follow my instinct that's a two putt par moving on still plus one i gotta look and see what the cut is f that breaking 80 i want to make the cut let's qualify for this damn thing let's go all right that was hole 16 we're going to hole 17 now it's a par four straight down wind 418 to the flag looks like it's in the back today It looked like it was bunker bound on the left side. I'm gonna get me a drink over here though, real quick. Hey, Ori. Ooh, it looks like I stayed short. Got a little beer action. I had this last night at one of the local restaurants. It was pretty good, man. Over in Old San Juan. San Juan. So I think it's called Medalla. Medalla. But I stayed short. Hell yeah. I got 117 downwind. Take a gap wedge, try to put it right there in the front of the green, keep it low. Down. Ooh. Man, 
downwind doesn't have a lot of spin at all. I thought I landed it pretty short. I got like 30 feet. Oh, I gotta go up a hill, which is fine. I guess not down the hill. It's not too bad. Middle of the green. Six hundred and thirty yards. We're gonna try to birdie this hole. Act like we're down one. Have to birdie to keep our card. Just like uh, you know, Wesley Bryan out there. Come on, bro. All right, so we got six thirty. Downwind, par five. Hole number eighteen. Not the drive I wanted, but hey, it'll do. It was real low. It was like really healy. It looked like it ran out like a good thirty yards. So we'll see. We got uh, 325 left. <laughs> so I don't know what that was. 630. So that's only a 300 yard drive. It wasn't great. Doesn't look like much trouble. Gonna try to hit a, uh, a three wood up there. Probably front of the green is what I'm looking. Or if I have like, you know, 50, 60 yards with just a 58, should work out perfectly. But let's get it. If I can land this probably about 280 downwind, it could funnel up there towards the green just a little bit. I don't know. We'll give it a try. Yeah, it didn't hit that great, but stayed in the fairway. A little bit of a draw and it ran out a little bit. A birdie on the last to keep my card. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was a well struck. I mean, I guess it wasn't that well struck. The result was really good, but man, look, check out the hills. You can see these hills right here in the fairway. Man. Yeah, like I said, I probably got like 50, 60 yards left. You got the grandstands, check that out. So you got the old grandstands. All around the 18th. All to see me hit this shot right here. I got 85 yards, 85, got to get a birdie, pulling 58. I'm looking for a five footer. I'd like to take a two footer, of course. Oh, that was not well struck. <laughs> I'm like 40 feet, right hand side. I don't know what my setup was doing. Got a 40 footer for birdie. Here's some things that would help if we had a caddy out here. I would actually aim left of the flag to stay below the hole. That little hill right there, if I would have handled it right here, it came down here, but I'm on the other side. So it's gonna go straight downhill. It's gonna be tough to stop this ball. five but we should have had that birdie so i didn't keep my card <laughs> on 18 i'm gonna try that putt again it's a tough putt all right so we're on hole number one we're gonna do the front nine now this one's a 474 par four wind's a little left to right now we're gonna get uh, stuck behind some foursomes now but it's all good we're gonna take our time try to score well So the pin is right there on the other side, about right there. I gotta hit like a punchy 174 through the trees, into the wind. Yeah, it's gonna be a tough shot. It's gonna be a tough shot. Uh, 186 to the flag. I got a four iron. I'm gonna run it up there. about uh, 50 yards short, like 40 yards short, which is okay. I just gotta get up and down for par, 474 yard par four. I'm gonna go 54. It looks like it shoots back, goes right to left. I'm gonna use a 54. Try to 
try to keep it uh, keep it a little bit lower. This wind is a little crazy. Not too bad at all. I wanted just a little bit more run out on the right hand side, but that's not bad, bro. That's not bad. Probably got like a five footer for par. Try to save it. Let's keep it going. It's so enjoyable out here. Resort golf is something different. I mean, they don't group you up with anybody else. It's a good time. That's just, that's just something special. Look at the clubhouse coming here. That's what ridiculous. Hole one, par. Let's keep the par train going. That's an unbelievable little chip right there. I mean, five footer for par, can't beat that. But apparently the front nine is more jungle and like, you know, land related. The back nine was more ocean. I see a lot more palm trees in this one. All right, we got hole number two and a limb in front of me. Hole number two, 548 par five. All right, so blocked out by the trees here. I got 248 to the flag, 248, but man, it looks like a storm's coming in. It's gonna be a little, a little more difficult here. Second shot, par five, hole number two, downwind. I gotta avoid this tree right here. So I'm gonna keep it low with a five iron. Uh, right side bunker not too bad though not too bad it got a little away from me i don't know if it was a flyer or what i saw it bounce a few times so i think it just went right there in the bunker but i think i may be short-sighted again up and down big birdie man hell yeah let's go or i could just chip this in for eagle let's go then i'll be one under on the day oh nice avoided the bunkers just went past i got a good good angle good chip i could probably chip this in oh i could definitely chip this in let's go Just totally just fluff that. It's a weird lie, but totally fluffed it. the damn lip. I'm gonna birdie, par five. I'm gonna birdie back to even. All right, we got 386. Hole number three, par four. Straight downwind. I got four iron. Beyond perfect four iron. That's gonna run for days. It's probably gonna be like 260, 270 four iron. It's probably gonna have about 100 yards, 120 yards maybe in. It's a good little four iron, downwind. Flaring everything out to the right just for a little bit. I'm gonna grab me another beer. I think it hit the back of the bunker right here. I actually scrubbed it out a little bit, but yeah, not too bad. You can see that big old storm coming in. Yeah, we're about to get some serious rain. That's a good little roll. 
It's all right, another par. Let's keep it going. dog leg to the right. Get the mountain behind you. It's getting a good drive here. Yeah, I'll say that's a good drive. Excellent drive. Probably put that thing just a little bit too high, but it looks like it beat the bunker over there. We'll check it out. It's a little close to that water, <laughs> to be honest. Oh my goodness, my ball is so damn close. <laughs> it is too damn close. Oh my God, right on the edge. Check it out. You see it over there? If you guys ever get a chance to uh, come to San Juan, you gotta check out some of their local beers. They have uh, the Ocean Brewery, which is kind of cool. They have a bunch of good little craft beers, which is kind of kind of sweet. But go check out old San Juan area. They had an entire uh, Iron Man. So they had 70 miles of running, swimming, and cycling. It's pretty sweet. All right, second shot, hole four. We got 154. It's got a Sunday pin location on the very right side. I got a nine iron, wind's hard off the left. Just try to hit like a straight shot, have it fade just about five, 10 feet. Can't beat that. Let's go, baby. Right in the middle of the green. The wind didn't push it as much as I thought it would. We got like 30 feet, 25 feet for a birdie. Let's just get a two putt. To be honest, it can't get much better than that. That is so ideal. Probably a little closer than 25, 30 feet. two put on vacation all day all right we got a par five 535 i gotta fade it just a little bit it's hurting in the wind damn that was blast bro let's go i was completely straight that's probably the driver of the day right there that felt so good so good i think we're gonna avoid that storm today too Still went over. Got to drop some birdies though. All right, so we got 235, second shot on a par five. Four iron, it's a little bit downwind, right there in the front of the green. All right, third shot. I got caught up in this little bunker that's short of the green. Just trying to put it on the front, let it run to the flag. Yeah, I'm really happy with that one. That's a uh, 54 degree. Oh, you gotta be fucking good. So I got like a five footer for, come on. Oh, Jesus. Okay. All right, back in action. All right, we got this left for birdie. That was a good little chip out out of the bunker. So we got that left right there. Should be good to go. We are back to even. That was a great bird. That was a great freaking hole. Beautiful drive, hit a four iron, lost it left. Great sand save, decent putt, lipped in. Gotta love it, back to even. So we're on hole six, par three. It was 205, I used a four iron. It was directly into the wind, so hopefully I got a nice clear little area to go, but yeah, we'll check it out.
bad chip, fluffed it, rushed it, got a five, double bogey. So I just met a guy from uh, North Dallas area who just followed. Appreciate it, man. You just gave me a double bogey though, bro. <laughs> Moving on to the seventh hole. All right, I am currently two over. So let's see, one under, even, one over, one over on the front, then that birdie on the par five, that's even, then the double bogey, so I'm two over right now. Come on, let's keep it going, hole seven. Let's get two more birdies in the last three holes. Hole seven, par four, 448. Looks like it goes up the hill, dog leg right. Flag is a little bit elevated. Wasn't that great of one, it's off the toe, but we'll see. Yeah, the guy I just met, uh, he was from Golfaholics. We got a long one for a second one in. We got an elevated green, it's gonna be a tough one. Second shot, we got 196 uphill. It's actually 191, 196 with the slope. I'm playing a six iron. Just off the back, really well struck. That was just too well struck. Yeah, I was just left of the flag, hit the green, hit the green, rolled off the back. I think it's just in the back fringe area. Hopefully I'm in that uh, that correct tier. That'd be sick. Let's go. Actually, looky, looky. Look what we got right there on top of the green. I guess I was just, I thought it was off the back, but I guess I couldn't see it. Let's go knock this birdie in. This is a tough ass hole. If I can knock this birdie in. Hmm. I mean, pin high, so actually it was a correct club. It looks like it's going to break right to left. I think it's going to go that way. Though. Got to birdie the last two to go even. Ah, that double bogey just totally just messed me up. Dang, why don't I fluff it, bro? Just put it up there on the green. Give me a five footer for par. All right, hole number eight. I need two more birdies to go even. Par three, 236 downwind. I got a five iron. All right, that was not a good swing at all. Five iron, this wasn't a good shot. All right, let's see what we can do here. Look at the backdrop though. Dang, insane. Number nine, last hole of the day. Par four, it's 450. Yeah, 450, downwind, dog leg to the right. So I am three over. I need to get a birdie so I can stay within two. That was a perfect one. Perfect. That last second shot for me. Looks like I got 135 to the pin. Just want to show you the background. Absolutely incredible. Last view. And then I gotta take a flight out of here. I leave in about uh, two and a half hours. So I gotta hurry up and make it back to San Juan Airport. Last iron shot into the green. Let's birdie the last, man. Let's go uh, two over, but I'm three over currently right now. Headed back to the clubhouse. Second shot, number nine. All right, I got 141. Second shot, I got pitching wedge. I'm gonna try to keep it a little bit lower into the wind. It's hurt just a little bit. We actually do have a chance to get a birdie. Couldn't ask for a better iron shot right there. Perfect drive, perfect iron shot. Let's get that birdie to finish it off. It looked like I was eight feet, but I probably got like 20. I'm like extra short. I could have swore it was like a lot closer than that, but check it out. Played a Puerto Rico Open. I finished three over. Had a chance to get par, but missed out. Definitely broke 80. We're back to that. Definitely broke 80. Thanks for joining. Appreciate it if y'all subscribe. And I'll bring more content like this in the future. This is Puerto Rico Golf. Puerto Rico Golf.